ebb and flow of top-level badminton never ceases to amaze. Big names sent crashing out yesterday. Now it's the quarterfinals at the Canada Open here in Calgary. Where will the road to glory lead next? Well, first of all, here to the Wind Sport Event Centre, our home until the finals on Sunday. And we'd like to thank volunteer Lily Gallagos bringing in the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals trophy. That'll be competed for in China just a couple of weeks before Christmas. You can see all the action live right here. A little closer to home, though, let's tell you what's in store on our show court today. You'll see eight quarterfinals live. Kicking off with the double Olympia PD Sindhu in the women's singles, but she's lost all three previous meetings against Gao Fang Jia. Then we switch to mixed doubles. Number three seeds Kaneko and Matsutomo. Many experts' favourites to lift the title this weekend. Turi and Magalud in their way today. Men's doubles to follow Astro and Rasmussen aiming for a fourth career world tour title. They have a 100% record against Matsui and Takuchi. Next to bat, women's top seed, Akane Yamaguchi. She faces giant killer Tui Lin Win of Vietnam, who did for defending champ Michelle Lee yesterday. And then another all Japan China quarterfinal. They're usually fun. Watanabe, as you can see, they're taking on Lee. Three more matches after that to bring you live, a couple of doubles, and another men's singles as well. Okay, let's tell you how the women's singles draw is shaping up. Eight ladies left and we are first of all concentrating on that second quarter final double olympic medalist pv sindhu looking to beat the chinese gao fangjia for the first time at the fourth attempt somewhat surprising stat when you think of pv sindhu's record she will be absolutely determined to end that little hoodoo down to just three courts in the main arena crowds have been hugely entertained over the last few days no reason to think that that is not going to continue this afternoon just turned midday local time here in Calgary and that's the reception for the former world champion and double Olympic medalist PV Sindhu not had the year that she wanted so far of course she had that nasty injury last year Stress fracture, which meant she had to sit out half the season. So maybe just taking her a little longer than expected to come back. And here's her opponent from China, Gao Fengjia. Court number one, women's singles. Nothing like having a kind of a bit of a jinx on an opponent. She will be well aware, obviously, that she's never lost to the Indian. There's the confirmation of that head to head. Three love. The last meeting was at the Asia Mixed Team Championships in February. Before that, they hadn't actually met since 2018. Japan Open and then quarter final of the China Open a year previously, which the Chinese won in straight games. Got all the makings of a fascinating quarter final, this. Sindhu, with so much experience, actually just celebrated a birthday. She turned 28 a couple of days ago. And that injury that I was talking about for Cindy actually came after she'd won the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. And then she got that stress fraction in her left foot and it just effectively kiboshed her season. Just the one final so far this year. That was the Spain Masters where she lost to Gloria Tunjung, who's hugely improved, of course. And Tunjung also beat her in the semi-final of the Malaysia Masters. Now that was in May. 15 is her ranking now, but she was as high as number two previously. And her opponent from China, Gao Fengjia, as we just look at 
Sindhu's progress so far. Got a walk over yesterday. Uh, Nadera was injured. So back to Gale, 24 years of age. I wouldn't put too much store on that 45 ranking. She has been inside the top 15, as you can see there, albeit a few years ago. Just the one World Tour title. That was a Super 100 Indonesia Masters event last year. But she has reached a couple of quarterfinals this season, so certainly not to be taken lightly. Christofferson pushed her really hard, more than an hour for that three-game victory, and then more convincing against the Stadelman of Switzerland in round two, the qualifier. Hakon Hakabo of Norway is in the umpire's chair for this one, and Fabio Beto is the service judge. Stand by then for the umpire's player introductions. Uh, Sindhu just sorting out a few things before coming out on court. I think this is a big tournament for her potentially. Just could get a 2023 off and running. I think we are finally ready to hear from the umpire to introduce these two ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Gao Fangji, China. And on my left, Pusarla V. Sindhu, India. Pusarla V. Sindhu to serve, love all, play. So it will be Sindhu to get us underway on quarter-final day. Ah. One, love. And normally you'd say that it's Gao that probably needs the fast start, but bearing in mind Sindhu's record, probably the other way round. Oh, yes. Bright, purposeful start from the Indian. Two, love. Pass the shuttle. Pass the shuttle, please. Float wide. Service over. One, two. Great point from Sindhu. Really sharp there at the net. Service over. One, three, change.
Gao Fangji challenges called out. So Gao asking Hawkeye to have a look for the first time this afternoon. Not sure with a huge amount of confidence, truth be told. And that's why I was out by a big margin. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Now entering the arena. Five, one. Mixed up. First six one of the court. Your match is on fire. From Canada, Derek Yee. And your service judge, also from Canada. Oh, the net court didn't give uh, Sindhu any chance at all there. there. Much needed Eight, piece of good five. fortune for Gal. After she's uh, rather been put on the back foot by Sindhu here early on. And now the players from Japan, Yuka Otanami. Did all the hard work, missed the relatively Three. straightforward put away there, Five. Sindhu. Finding it Six. a little tricky to get Three. to grips with the drift at the moment. Gout, a couple that she's hit long and quite now away long at that. Oh, this is uh, vintage PV at the moment. Seven. Three. And you serve your judge from Canada. Just drifted Four, back onto the line, I think. Seven. From Japan, Hiroki Midorikawa and Natsu Seiko. <laughs> and from Chinese Taipei, Feng Chen Li and Zhu Yinwu Wei. Court number three, mixed up. Well, it was an excellent shot from Sindhu. It would have over. been very, very cruel if that had just sneaked Eight, over via the net court, four. and it didn't. She's made exactly the start she would have wanted in what's been a disappointing season for her. And against that woman who's beaten her on the three occasions they've met previously. So just needs to keep it going concentration-wise, Sindhu. I think all five points Very that Gao has won so far have been five, either nine. Sindhu errors or there was the net cord as well. She's yet to hit a winner. And although that difference is only three points, ought to be a source of confidence for the Indian. Five eight. Floated beautifully. Absolute thoroughbred shot that. Nine five. She was certainly bothered, bewildered there. Now. Way beyond the back line. Ten, five. Oh. 
Missed it. And the, here's a big lead at the mid-game interval. Six interval. points to the good, PV Sindhu. Turning back the years a little bit in the last seven minutes or so. Eleven five play. Well, she's picked up exactly where she left off before that short uh, mid game break. Just hasn't got to grips at all with the pace of the court. Service over six twelve. That's the best rally girls played by a country mile. Seven, She's going to have to do a lot more of it. Well. Because she still had to work really hard to win the rally. 26 shots, the longest so far. This match. Recovery here from the Chinese. Very quick double. Twelve five down to twelve eight. A deception from Sindhu. Go actually over. did quite well to get to it. 13, Couldn't do anything nine. with it. Well, she certainly had the rub of the green Service as far over. as uh, that cords are concerned, the and Chinese. 14. They say it all evens out, but that won't be much consolation to Sindhu at the moment. Still got a four point lead, though. Service over. Fifteen ten. Seven, five, <laughs> 
this long. <laughs> Would have been service over. 16 11. Service over. 12, 16. Nowhere near enough that Service from Gal. Over. She was uh, superbly punished by Cindy. Well. looks to be playing with a far greater purpose 18, than when well. I've seen her previously this year. Sometimes it can take a little longer to come back from a, an injury than you expect at first. Maybe it's been the case with uh, Cindy. Three points away now from securing the opening game. The best shot she's played. Maybe uh, too little, Service too late over. in the opening game. We'll see, but 13, that was uh, clever and cunning 18. in equal measure. Lovely piece of deception from Gal. Once again, she was just a sitting duck, really. And here are seven game points for the number four seed. 20, game point, 13. That'll Game. be nicely. 21-13 in just 16 minutes First on call. Former world champion. Back to somewhere near her best, and that's great to see. Nothing against Gao. But uh, Sindhu may be suggesting, albeit after only one game, that reports of her demise are somewhat exaggerated. 21-13.
नहीं करेगी वो ड्रिबलिंग करेगी वो लिफ्टिंग नहीं करेगी ओके फोर्ट वन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स फोर्ट वन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स Second game, low ball, play. So Sindhu kind of started in game two. One, love. Drift wide. Service over. One all. Great defence from Sindhu and pretty good judgment as well. Service over. Two. Looked a big second favourite midway through that rally. Managed to put it out the fire. That's the other thing. She knows she's playing as well as she has for a while so far in this match. And that breeds confidence in itself. 2 1. Well, the telegraph that though, and Gao able to Two, execute a pretty easy kill all. from the net straight into the body of the Indian. Gifrat really Three, for Sindhu. Kind of one step forward and two back at the moment for Gal. Just can't afford to let Sindhu get clear in the early stages of this second game. Right shot, just wrong execution. Service too over. Much angle on it. Four. Three. Five, three. 
Service over. Lovely touch. Four, five. Too many unforced oh. errors in Gale's game. Albeit more competitive in this uh, second game than it was in the opener. It's beautiful to watch the way Sindhu moved Chow around the court there. Seven. Always in the ascendancy five. in that rally. I think it might have felt longer than 22 shots long for the Chinese because she really was given the runaround. Thank you. Always had great hands, and Eight, I, she needed all of her five. five foot ten inches tall to get to that Sindhu. But on the stretch, that really was wonderfully well controlled, and hugely frustrating for her. Again, and a very good uh, now, judge of length so far in this match, Sindhu. Out. It has been challenged, but once again, I'm not sure that Gao has any genuine belief that this didn't go long. That's the reason why. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Nine, five. Play. 
All of a sudden, there's a, a gap on that scoreboard. It's been on the deck a couple of times in the last few points, Gal. Both literally and metaphorically, Sindhu has stood tall so far in this match. Thank you. You can say it's vintage Sindhu, but certainly signs are positive after disappointing time and of late. Five. Play. So, chance to get to the interval here with a six point lead. And indeed she does. Yeah, Gow in big trouble five, here. Sindhu interval. looking good. So, can Sindhu finish the job here? Excellent in the first game. Very handy lead now in the second. And the gal's going to have to produce something a little special. He's feared if she's going to get back into this match. It's a good shot, though. Service over. Six, 11. My traffic at the moment six. has got no answer. Now, it's been a run around the court by this woman. Quick down. Again, silkiest of touches Six. from Sindhu, who really has uh, shown us the full repertoire today. Uh, 
not sure. I think Gow might have asked for medical time out here. Yeah, she has indeed. Situation looking uh, pretty dire anyway, 14-6 behind in the second. Hopefully a bit of uh, magic spray to do the trick. Used to be the old sponge in a bucket of cold water, didn't it, back in the day? Now they've got these magic potions. But even if it alleviates the problem, you really struggle to see Gal getting back into this. wide and it seems almost the longer the rally the more likely the Indian is to win it 34 minutes match time only and she's apparently cruising into the semis here actually by Gal. Look at the work she's having to do just to stay in the point. And eventually one too good. Down and almost out, I fancy, of the Canada Open. Just wonder if she might have aggravated Injury she had a few moments ago. It looks like she still wants to carry on. Thank you. Oh, good. So more treatment. I, I just wonder if there's, you know, if there's a chance of aggravating it. The score line, the way it is, I'm honestly not sure it's worth the risk unless it's just a, a cut. That's different from the original injury. Yeah, okay.
16, 6. Well, full marks for Bravery Brave. in terms of carrying on. A couple of knocks now, but uh, this may not last much longer. Oh, that looked, that looked wide to me. I'm not surprised that P.D. Sindhu is going to challenge it. In. I think it might just have snuck beyond the sideline. Hawkeye is the ultimate arbitrator of these matters. No, bang on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over, 7-16. Play. Clearly wide, and Sindhu heading surely towards the finish line in this quarter final. 17, seven. So just a couple more points required for the Indian to book a place in tomorrow's semi-final. Fewer than 13 match points. Match points, seven. PD Cindy. Second set, 21-7 in Sindhu's favour. 43 minutes on court only, and that included a couple of injury timeouts for the Chinese, who was well beaten by Sindhu, Match won by who defeats Sindhu. Gao for the first time at the fourth attempt. Seven. Certainly the best I've seen Sindhu play all season. Be fascinating to see how far she goes here. 21 13, 21 7. 44 minutes is the official match time. And we'll see her again tomorrow in the semis. So we're going to switch after a few highlights to the mixed doubles. A Japanese-Danish confrontation coming next as we watch a very happy PV Sindhu exit stage left. Stay with us.
Well, we'll welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Canada Open. And after victory for Sindhu, we are now concentrating on mixed doubles. And this features the number three seeds, Yuki Kaneko and Mizaki Matsutomo, up against the Danes, Matthias Turi and Amelie Magalud. Officials just making their way onto our show court here. There's how the draw pans out. So potentially the number one seeds, Watanabe and Higashinu, awaiting the winners of this, assuming they get past Lee and Su in that uh, other quarter final. Which may actually just have ended, I think. I'll let you know exactly what's happened there. A little later on. So the Japanese on court. And the Danes will be uh, following in behind. 